This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, let me make sure you guys are good. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, in case you're wondering, um, yeah, this um, episode's taking place uh, about an hour after that last one. Um... And, um, yeah, I went ahead and wrote down the, <clears throat> excuse me, the card list for the first two packs here, which is why we've started here in the card shop. Uh, Miracle of Nature, so I'll, I'll be, I'll be listing, you know if the duel gets kind of, uh, easy or, uh, boring, I'll be listing Miracle of Nature, with, and these are available from the start of the game, and Shadows in the Labyrinth, that's what I'll be a listing as far as the card list from those two in the uh, I guess it may take a few episodes so but but I'll, I'll be sure to let you know where I'm listing the cards from uh, also it looks like we unlocked two new packs here uh, flight to a new world because uh, it says new there I don't know maybe these were already available and broken seal um, yeah, and, um, one thing I realized <laughs> in, in between episodes is I said, you know, oh, hey, yeah, I'm gonna edit my deck in between episodes. Well, that would be hard to do if I didn't have new cards. Um, so, <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna start by opening some par car some cards. Yes, we're gonna open some cards. <laughs> and, um, we're gonna do gonna get some from mechanical trap power here uh, once again I'll probably stop uh, if I get like a ultra rare or I don't know if I don't I'll probably just stop after about you know, five or so King of Yami Makai not bad firewing Pegasus actually not a bad tribute monster really uh, so here are here's just a look at some of the cards here uh, yeah 2250 for one tribute honestly not bad not bad at all I I'll definitely add that to the deck in between episodes if I can. Alright, let's see uh, what else I can get. Dark Elf, not bad at all either. Amoeba, reinforcements, not a rare card, but uh, a pretty good trap card. Dark Elf, yeah, it costs a thousand of your own points to attack, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. Two thousand with a, with a four star. Now, if I were you and using this card, I wouldn't actually, you know, attack with it over and over. But I would just, you know, set it in attack mode. And that way you've got 2,000. That's pretty good. Reinforcements is also pretty good. Uh, boosts one monster by 500 till the end of the turn. So that's pretty cool. Let's open uh, a couple more. See what, see if we can get something. Uh, see if we can get something else. Maybe we can get the cover monster, Red Eyes. Red Eyes, Black Dree again, as Joey would say. Uh, wow, not many new cards there. Oh, we did get Hain Hain. That's a good monster. It's already in my deck. Uh, yeah, returns one monster to the owner's hand. We got another Fortress Well, so... Maybe a Ritual deck will be in order? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, oh, oh yeah, also using the new setup for this episode, so... Oh yeah, and our goal for this episode is to, of course, locate the person on the far left, as you can see. Ooh, Graceful Charity, sweet! Wow, that is cool, man. Great, great card. Alright, awesome. That's, hey, that might very well be the best card in the set. You know, objectively. Because it can be used in every deck. Oh my god. Yeah, Graceful Charity. You draw three cards and you discard two. I'll definitely be adding that to the deck in between episodes. But yeah, the person we're looking for in this episode is to the far left. It's a Serenity Wheeler. We need to find her. Uh, two out of King Rex, not bad, but man, yeah, Graceful Charity, wow, uh, that's cool. So we'll just open up one more pack, and, um, I think that'll do it for Mechanical Trap Power. I mean, that's a great card to get, Graceful Charity. Another Whiptail Crow, that's good, I'll probably add that to the deck. Machine King's not bad, and Grappler, which is a common card, eh. Probably shouldn't have opened that last pack, considering we got Graceful, but, uh, Machine King is... It's, it's decent. And um, another Whiptail Crow, honestly, that can be used in our deck, so I'm not too upset about that. So with that, we got that up to 51%. 
and we will leave the shop and see if we can find some duels. That's what we do on this let's play. We hunt for duelists, hunt for new cards, see what we can do. All right. Yep. So let's see who we can find. Honestly, I kind of want to go back to the house and save. Uh, but actually, you know what? Normally, like I said, I'll, you know, not save if we lose. Oh, and we found her. Serenity. Good. Good. That's what we needed to do. Okay. Good. Good. Objective met. Hi, I'm Serenity Wheeler. Uh, my big brother Joey loves dueling so much that he got me hooked too. If it's alright, will you duel me? Heck yeah. Let's duel, Serenity. Alright, cool. Awesome. There we go. Objective met. Cute sister is... <coughs> excuse me. Is the name of the deck. That's... Uh, okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get some water. Alright. And now that we've ran into Serenity Wheeler, what you want to try to do in the game is keep dueling at night until you run into a shadow game. Um, now, I'll explain what happens during a shadow game, if that happens. Uh, nice, we got Mooka Mooka first turn. So I think I'll just set that and uh, we'll call it good. But yeah, I'll explain shadow game if that happens. Um, but you want to run into, and this is, I guess it's a bit of spoilers, but Random Mercy, okay. But you want to run into either Para or Dox. Both are, you know, they're the Paradox Brothers from um, Season 1. So, I ah, read it. Archery Girl. So, yeah, uh, Serenity Wheeler. Uh, I guess I'll talk about her deck. I really didn't expect to f run into her. But, uh, haha, Mooka Mooka. Um, but, um, yeah, her deck... You'll notice a lot of similarities between Serenity's deck and Taya's deck. By that I mean um, female monsters, but she'll usually, you know, be working on gaining life points. But of the two, I think, again, it's just my opinion, I think um, Taya goes with the more powerful monsters, while Serenity has the better overall strategy and that might sound uh, contradictory but uh, I don't know maybe you guys will see what I'm talking about in this duel maybe not uh, so we'll attack with Mooka Mooka negate attack see see like <laughs> you see what I mean there you go I don't think Taya has negate attack I'm pretty sure um, but yeah it seems like Serenity is a lot better equipped to stall you out than Taya uh, while Taya... Sacrifice Monster. Interesting. What do you got? Ah! Marie the Fallen One. Hey, hey! Once again, another card that uh, has been welcomed to us in Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys follow that series, that's that's cool and I appreciate that. But if you don't, um, she has an awesome effect. Uh, and see, see, this is what I'm talking about already, as far as why Serenity pulls off the stalling slash life point game better. Uh, Marie the Fallen One, when she's in your graveyard during every standby phase, your life points increase by 200. So, and there's not many cards, there's a few. I'm actually just going to try attacking first, see what happens. But there's a few cards in this game that remove cards from the graveyard, but not many, you know, so... Yeah, overall, as you can see, I think Serenity's got the better, you know, life point gain stall strategy going here. Uh, yeah. N Numinous, is that how you say that? Numinous Healer. Um, boosts your points by a thousand whenever you take damage. And then it also boosts by another 500 for each Numinous Healer in your graveyard, I think. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she runs a lot of traps, it seems, so I'm going to set Crimson Ninja. Uh, yeah, the traps aren't, like, you know, problematic or anything as far as killing my monsters, but uh, maybe it might help me because, uh, yeah, see, there's Marie going off, so that's another 200 for her. <laughs> her smile looks so happy. 
I, I guess cute sister. I, I yeah. I, Serenity cute. Mm, I guess yeah. If you're into that, you know. Um. So what I'm gonna do this turn? I think I'll summon. I have two great whites, so I'll summon one of those. And even though it's vulnerable to be attacked, I'm gonna try to use Crimson Ninja's effect here. See what happens. All right. Stealth Poison Arrow. Oh, what's that? World Suppression. That's an interesting card. Um, the effect of that is whenever a field card is activated, uh, it negates its effects for that turn. The Unhappy Maiden. Wow. So basically, I won't get in any more damage this turn. Yeah, Unhappy Maiden. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think Serenity's got the better stall tactics. Unhappy Maiden, when it's sent to the graveyard, the battle phase is over. It's ended. Just like that. So, yeah, I guess you guys are kind of seeing uh, that Serenity... Yeah, I think she's better than Taya, you know, overall, overall, so, just, just my opinion, so, uh, gotta get some more water, but yeah, uh, in between episodes also, uh, I eat some pizza, uh, my mom got me three Red Baron, shout out to Flame Cerebrus, awesome card, but yeah, my mom got me three, uh, Red Baron pizzas for Christmas, best Christmas gift ever uh, because I don't know if you guys know or not or if I've ever said it on this channel but I love pizza I, I, I like L-U-V I love me some pizza so great Christmas gift uh, best Christmas gift ever alright which is Apprentice um okay uh, does she use many dark monsters? I don't. Well, I, I guess Marie the Fallen One is is a dark monster, but I don't know. Maybe that they just threw that in there because it's it's a female monster. Uh, I guess its effect is decent, you know. Uh, it boosts darks by 500 and reduces lights by 400. I think there are a lot of effect monsters like that. Uh, Little Chimera, Milus Radiant, Starboy, and yeah, quite a few. All right. Flame Cerebrus, Fluffy, Triple Flame Attack. I mean, I imagine that's what the kind of attack they have is. Actually, I think there's a description of its attack. Yeah, known to many as the Burning Executioner. This monster is capable of uh, burning enemies to cinders. I guess that's that's what you would say its its attack name is if if you ever used it. Burning Execution. That, that sounds that sounds pretty cool for an attack name. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, well, I guess I'm not going to go over the card list yet because, I don't know, this is really kind of our first time dueling Serenity and kind of talking about our deck, just discovering what's what's what. Oh, Scale Angel. Man, I forgot I put this card in here. Um, apparently I did, though. But, um, yeah, good card. Flip Effect lets you draw one card. Pretty simple, but pretty effective, I have to say. Uh, what's this? Amazon Archer. Good card, yeah. Um, with that, you can tribute two monsters and I think reduce your opponent's life. I think it's either a thousand. No, no, it's 1200. Is it 1200? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to see just because I'm curious. 1200. Gotcha. Glad I remembered that one right. All right. Mooka Mooka Attack. Rock throw, I don't know. <laughs> like, what kind of attack would Mooka Mooka use? I don't know. I imagine he would use those big, like, claws, like, scissor. K8 death scissors, or something like that. I don't know. Alright. Burning execution attack. Alright. So, yeah. Serenity has been stalling us out pretty good, but... Looks like we've almost got this one done. She's down to 1,100 points, so... Yep. Alright. Well, I guess in the next video, I'm going to have to see if I can find a little image of uh, the Paradox Brothers, which, uh, put that way I can put that to the side. Ah, Chorus of Sanctuary. Here we go. Okay. Now, this is probably the main 
Basically, this would have helped her quite a bit if she had drawn that earlier. Alas, she didn't. But it's a very good field card. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what it does. Um, let's see, where is that card? There it is. Increase the defense of all defense position monsters by 500. Now, that might not seem like much. But considering she's running cards like Red Archery Girl... Even a simple card like that, you know, with the field card out, goes up to 2,000. And I think she runs 2,000 defense point monsters as well. You know, 4-star, like Spirit of the Heart. And that would be hard to take out with that field card. Like I said, luckily she got it late. It does look very pretty on the field, though. I have to say that. But, uh, yeah, we win. So, yep, gave us a little trouble, Shizuka. But, uh, looks like we got you. All right. There we go. What do you have to say for yourself, Serenity? I couldn't win this time, but I'm not giving up. Ah, that's the Wheeler blood in her. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we'll be dueling you some other time then, Serenity. All right. Now, as you guys can see, I think on the on the bar up here. Uh, it is getting close to nighttime. Well, I guess you could see in the background too. But um, I don't think a shadow game could be triggered yet. Um, so I'm not going to save. But pretty soon, yeah, pretty soon here. Um, it's about time when a shadow game could be triggered. So let's see who we find. Oh, is that Mako? Yes, awesome. I love Mako Tsunami. Great guy. Hi, landlubber. I'm Mako Tsunami, the duelist of the mighty seas. I am not a freaky fish guy. I see that you are also a duelist. Let's duel. I'll send you to J Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> oh, man, Mako. <laughs> All right, big catch. Yeah. All right, and just like in Dawn of Destiny, I'm pretty sure Mako's going to go with the, you know, sea stealth deck approach. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he got. This, this could be a good duel, so that we're running the Mako for the first time. This ought to be fun. Alright, a little change of music. I'm going to get a sip of my water. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we get to one of the nighttime themes. I love it. So, pretty good hand here. We got D-Spell, Swords, Hain Hain, in case something gives us too much trouble, and Crawling Dragon. I'm actually just going to go with Crawling Dragon. And hopefully, sacrifice it for Burning Executioner, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how Mako plays this. Uh, no one ate. He probably uses Torrential Tribute in this uh, game, too. Uh, scary card, really. I hope he doesn't, but eh, it's pretty likely. I mean, that's, that's about as C-base as it gets. Okay, so I got Whiptail Crow. That's good. Um, I'm kind of afraid of a torrential tribute, but I honestly I don't. Man, it's been so long since I played this game. I don't know what cards he has really. Ah, okay. <laughs> Did I call it or what? Okay, there it is, torrential tribute. Oh, and he sent sinister serpent to the graveyard. That's interesting. The effect of that, we're just gonna end our turn. Take it like a man. Uh, but yeah, Sinister Serpent, when it's in your graveyard during your standby phase, you can add it to your hand. So it's, that's a pretty good card. Um, and really the perfect bait, if you will, with Torrential Tribute. Man, Mother Grizzly. Yeah, we might be in some trouble here. Oh, Mako. Yep, Mother Grizzly. Still as fierce as ever, Mako. But hey, I love it. I love water-based cards and duels, so let's do it, Mako. Let's do this. No face downs this time. Okay. I can deal with that. Skull Dice. Pretty useful. Let's uh, play Crow in attack mode. My spirit card. <laughs> well, actually, I guess the combo is the spirit card. Well, we do have Sword of Deep Seated. Uh, do I want to play that? You know what? Sure. Because he's going to get another monster out this turn when I kill Mother Grizzly. 
So, you know, just in case he has a tribute monster or something, we'll play a sword. That'll be good protection, I think. Um, and we'll set Skull Die as well. Alright, let's do this, Crow. Attack. Um, Bombarding Beak, I don't know. I forgot what epic attack name I gave him. <laughs> but, uh, yep. As you can see, Mako, um, already quite a bit better than some of the duelists, you know, that you found in the beginning of the game. Better than Mokuba, better than Taya, better than Serenity, uh, better than Grandpa, definitely. Yep, gonna just get another Mother Grizzly. Try to stall out, I suppose. That's smart. That's that's smart. Yeah, I should try to get Mother Grizzly in uh, Dawn of Destiny, actually. Steel Shell. Interesting. Uh, I think that boosts... It's kind of like Sword of Dark Destruction, but for water monsters, I think. We'll, we'll see what his attack is after this. Another Steel Shell. Wow. Are you going to pull the Bakura? Go with three uh, Violet Crystals on one monster? <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Okay, so obviously this has enough attack. Uh, let's see how much attack it has exactly. Uh, boost by 400. So that's at, what, 2200? Well, good thing I said Skull Dice. I mean, we're going to need like a 3 or better, but... I mean, might as well try it, right? 4? I think that'll do it. I think Mama Grizzly is going down. Alright. Did it work? Yeah, down to 1800. Whew. Man, that was close. Clutch Skull Dice. Well, I guess any roll would have worked there, actually. Because what was he up to? 2,200? We had 2,150. Yeah, I guess any roll would have worked there. But, uh, good thing I said that. I was thinking about, I was thinking, eh, nah. There's no way he'll summon anything good enough to get Crow. But he did. He, man, make a way ain't playing, man. He ain't playing. And now he's going to sacrifice. Oh, for what? Uh, he just said it. Interesting. Return of the Doomed. That's an interesting card. Yeah, discard one card. And I think you get to add a monster to your hand. That was a struggle by battle. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I remember a lot of these cards. That's cool. That's a pretty good card, though. Got back Mama Grizzly. Um... Could play swords and see what monster he set. Uh, I think that's actually a good call because I don't know. Maybe I don't want to attack into something that has too too high defense. Oh, Kyrushin. Okay. Uh, it's the sea snake. Uh, you know of his deck. So yeah, we've we've seen that before in Dawn of Destiny. Uh, it's. It's alright. You know, if he has his field card, a Legendary Ocean, I imagine he uses that in this game, too. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, you know, similar, uh, you know, cards from them. Uh, the big difference here is he's actually using Sinister Serpent, which is comboing pretty well with some of his other cards. So, we'll play Gargoyle Powered, take that out, and we'll direct attack with Crow. All right, Dark Absolution. Oh, now that sounds like a cool name for an attack. That's that's it. That's it's done. That's I might want to write that down. That's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be the crow attack every time. Dark Absolution. I don't know where that came from. I just I just said that off the top of my head. I don't know. All right, Mako. Yep, get Sinister Serpent back. So yeah, he's making good use of his cards for sure. We just gotta watch out for that Torrential Tribute, you know what I'm saying. I guess I could have, you know, checked, you know, what his face down was to start the duel with D-Spell, but, eh. I really, in this duel, I don't want him to get his other combos going, so I guess we'll set Hain Hain, because we have swords, so. But yeah, I didn't want him to, like, play a Legendary Ocean, um, you know, to start his other combos, and then for me to have no way to destroy it so that's why okay he set mama grizzly back in defense mode i know it's mother grizzly but i i've always just called that card mama grizzly i, I don't know why um yeah ever since i started using the water deck 
as a kid. I mean, that card's been in pretty much every, well, a lot of water decks that I've made. So, I don't know, Mama Grizzly, it just sounds, it sounds cool. And it's not like it's wrong. I mean, Mother, Mama, Ma, you know, it's, it's all the same. All right, and he played another Jellyfish. Yeah, really, Mako's deck, all around solid monsters, really. So, uh, you'll want to make sure you have, and you saw, like, he powers up his cards, too. Um, so, you'll want to have, I don't know, I'd say if you have something, what's my crow at right now, 2050? I'd say if you have something with about 2,000, and he doesn't have, you know, Legendary Ocean Out, Salvage, that's a good card. Uh, let you take two water monsters with 1,500 or less to your hand. So he's going to get back those Mama Grizzlies. That's smart. Stall out even more, man. Well, actually, no, because I have Hain Hain face down. So, But, yeah, um, I guess 2,000 or more, if he doesn't have a Legendary Ocean, is a good amount. So Stim Pack, that's cool. Uh, might let me finish things this turn, actually. So let's flip Hain Hain. All right, cool. Hain Hain, it's time, my boy. Use your sickle scythe. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. All right, and let's summon Baron. Yeah. All right, and I think we have. Let me do some math here. Fifteen fifty, four fifty. Yeah, we have enough to take him out. Um, I don't know if we have enough for exactly zero. Uh, cause that, it'd be nice to get that bonus, but, uh, do we? I mean, let's see, no, I don't think we do, for exactly zero. I don't think we have, no, we don't. So, we'll just attack with Baron, get him down to 100. So close, Mako. Man, we were close to that exactly zero. Got about 100 away, but that's alright. Well, you put up a pretty good fight, Mako. This is a nice fight in you for the first time, but we win. All right, Hain Hain. Reaper Slash. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just now noticing, but a lot of cards have that, you know, kind of scythe um, in their animations and picture overall, really. Yeah, you get 66 experience for dueling Mako. That's... That's kind of high, really. I think that's pretty close to Joey and Yugi, so that's cool. Alright. What do you have to say, Mako? Ah, I lost, but I shall not give up. I think my Mako imp impersonation was a lot better here than it was in the commentary episode for Don Destiny, for sure. Alright. I think we'll do one more duel, and then I'll go back and save. Uh... So, let's see who we got. Is that Mako again? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Feel the fury of the crashing waves! Ha ha ha! Alright, let's do it, Mako. Mako, round two. I don't mind facing you again, man. Alright. Is this gonna be like Dawn of Destiny? Is he gonna get revenge on me the second time? <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. Big catch! All right, let's do it, Mako. Round two, buddy. And he's going first, so. Now we did get Great White, which uh, it's kind of good to have. Uh, okay, Sinister Serpent in attack mode. You know, I'm having the oddest sense of deja vu. <laughs> like, except, you know, last duel, he just set that in defense mode and then yeah, went to uh, troll la 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 on us. Um, but I gotta attack that, right? Like, are you kidding me? You just summon that in attack mode and expect me not to... I don't care if that is Torrential Tribute, man. I'm... Yeah, I'm... Like, I'm gonna attack that. Uh, you know what? Let's equip uh, Baron with the, with the Baron of the Sword with the Sword of Dark Destruction. Let's do it. There you go. Enhance your sword, Baron. All right, and I mean, like, I don't know if this is a negate attack or what, but I, I gotta attack that. I mean, it it's weak, dude. No trap cards, good. And it's only got three hundred, and you put you put that in attack mode, boy. <laughs> what are you thinking, man? 
This is the Teus Strad. That's 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 putting Petite Moth. Well, actually, Sinister Serpent is way way better than Petite Moth. But uh, yeah, that that was not very smart, man. That wasn't too smart. So yeah, uh, I took about an hour between duels, and yeah, for some reason uh, the the video file didn't seem to want to transfer for whatever reason, and I was kind of worried about it, honestly. I was thinking, man, I should have said set Shadow Vise last turn, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of thinking, um, yeah, c just because it took, uh, like, basically the, uh, the cable that I used to connect my cell phone, uh, let's go with Neo, uh, that I used to connect my cell phone with my computer, like, I don't know, it just, like, like it would show that it could read the files from my cell phone, but um, like it would show that it was connected. But when I would copy, yeah, Sinister Serpent again. He's just using this over and over. But yeah, it would show that like the file. You know, I could copy the file, but then like when I would paste it into my folder, for whatever reason, it wouldn't start the transfer. And basically, I just kept retrying. Like I blew it. Called the haunted, really. Okay, um, uh, hmm, not, uh, that wasn't very smart, Mako. But man, that's a good card, though. Like, if he had a decent card in his graveyard, like, you know, Kyrie Shin or Amphibian Beast or something like that, that would be, yeah, I'm kind of glad you wasted it, honestly, bro. Because that card's way, way good. Uh, if he would have saved it till next turn, I'm sure he could have sacrificed or something. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the video file, yeah. Like, for some reason, yeah, I, I honestly thought about, you know, just, um, okay, he set a monster, so we're gonna play Shadow of Eyes. Let's see, where is it? There it is. But, yeah, I thought about, you know, just trying to upload that file to YouTube, um, because I was kind of scared. Sangan, okay, that's a good card. Let can let you search for, you know, Mama Grizzly, whatever. Um, I was, yeah, I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe I should, uh, you know, try to upload last episode's file to YouTube. Uh, you know what, I'm actually not going to set up Summon a Monster, because I'm afraid that might be Torrential Tribute. So, yeah, it can't activate if, I don't summon, or he doesn't summon, so we'll just attack for now. Um, but yeah, I was kind of afraid, like, maybe the file didn't transfer correctly, or... Uh, and and I, I still don't know. And uh, actually, ever since that, uh, the Pokemon episode, yeah, because uh, I think I had one where I... Yeah, I basically, like, fought all the um, trainers in Doofer Gym. And, and that file, like, I don't know what happened. It just, like, because I had transferred it to my computer, and then, um, like, it just wouldn't upload for whatever reason. It was almost like it was corrupted or something. But, yeah, ever since then, files for my cell phone, what I've done is, um, I've, uh, I've always, like, kept them on my phone, you know, and then, yeah, and then... You know, wait until the upload's complete on YouTube, which is smart, yeah. Respect play, that's interesting. Very interesting, you cheater. Uh, respect play. <laughs> I say you cheater because of respect play. Here's what it does. Uh, kind of good against an Exodia deck, I suppose. During each of their respective turns, each player must show their opponent their hand. That's... Uh, I mean, I don't I don't like that. That's, that's not cool, man. Don't need to be looking at my cards, son. Uh, but yeah, I'm still not going to summon just in case that face down card is, you know, Torrential Tribute. Because we got, we got a good thing going here with uh, Baron, Sword, and Sword of Dark Destruction. So, don't want to set off the trap. If he sets it off, if he summons and sets it off himself, you know, so be it. So be it. Um, but, uh, man, we almost got exactly... Dude, deja vu. Like, seriously. <laughs> we got you down to 100 exactly again, Mako. What the heck, man? What is what is with this guy? You know, last thing. Oh, let's look at his hand. Ooh, Steel Shell. 
Sinister Serpent. Okay, he said Sinister Serpent, which is weak sauce. Mama Grizzly, Jellyfish. Okay. Cool. Cool stuff, bro. But uh, now we know we're basically guaranteed to win this turn. Uh, unless he somehow plays that face down, which he hasn't played it yet, so I'm not too worried. We'll just uh, straight up go. Uh, but yeah, once again, like, yeah, I was afraid that uh, the video file, like, might not, you know, uh, be good. So, and it, I still don't know if it is or not. Because, uh, like I said, now that's the process I use. I'll, I'll keep the f file on my phone and then wait till it's fully uploaded, published to YouTube, and then I'm just like, okay, okay, you know, don't worry about it. Then I'll delete it off my phone. So, anyway, we beat Mako again. So, 2 0, Mako. Oh, and we leveled up. Sweet. I don't know what level we are. I think we might be level three. Yeah, because I only remember, like, leveling up, like, once, I think. So, but I'll check for you guys in between videos. Though I lost, I fight with the honor my father instilled in me. I will win next time, and my shark will take a bite into your dick. All right, Mako. Cool. All right, so now, now that you see it, that it's at this point on the background, I think this is the time when shadow games can occur. Now, uh, if we get into one, I'll explain it, but let me click on home. I actually wish I could click on the home button. Uh, but, uh, well, we'll just, okay, good, we made it. We weren't too far away, so. This is your house, enter, yes. Because we want to save. Uh, got that level up, got quite a few points. And now you could go to sleep now, like I said, to avoid the nighttime duels and to avoid the shadow games in general. But that's not what you want to do. You, Despite the warning, uh, you want to... What time are we at? 37 minutes. Okay, yeah, we can try... I think we can maybe try to do one more duel. And then uh, see where we're at on time. Because last episode lasted about, about 40 or so minutes. So, yeah, let's see who this is. And, uh, oh, Joey! who, last time we dueled him, kicked our butts, so, oh, oh, wait, 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 what's this, I'm worried about Yugi, I saw him the other night, but he acted like a totally different person, well, uh, it is Yugi, but it's kind of not him either, how can I explain this, baby dragon, help me, you know how you can have a hamburger, <laughs> Oh my god, the comedy in this. <laughs> and a veggie burger? They're both different types of burgers, but they're still burgers. Does that make any sense? Huh? Uh, not really, Joey, but nice try trying to <laughs> explain it to us. And yeah, don't worry about it. You'll get it eventually. Besides, you have more important things to worry about. You have to duel me. So, that really was Yugi? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess it was. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. That was new, you know, new dialogue as far as Joey goes. So, even if we lose this duel, I think I'll save. Uh, I don't know if you have to have this, you know, conversation with Joey before, um, before, before you can actually enter into some of the shadow games or not um yeah i don't know maybe oh pot agreed cool first hand yeah maybe this uh was necessary as far as running into joey here um yeah new dialogue usually means uh what do we have here Ooh, prevent rat is good but i want to play well no we'll set spellbinding uh i kind of want to use crest clown's effects but, you know, first turn, no reason to summon anything in attack mode, really. We'll just play Prevent Rat and see how things go. Yeah, I don't I don't remember... Wait, did we... Did Yeah, the episode where we lost, did I not save afterward? Like, did we have that same conversation? Because I don't remember. Shout out to both of us having Pot of Greed in the opening hand. That's cool. 
Little Wingard, ah, yeah, I remember you using that. Uh, nah, we'll we'll let you, we'll let you crash, uh, yourself into a brick wall. Prevent rat, prevent your attack. Ha. Yeah, Little Wingard. I'm pretty sure I explained it the last time we dueled Joey. Pretty cool effect, man. I mean, he can switch into defense mode. Well, he can switch his mode in there in the end phase. And holy crap, three face downs, bro. Guarantee you one of those is need a wall. Guaranteed. Like, there's there's no way one of those is not need a wall. Needle dick. Need ah, ah. Hey, do I know this game or what? All right, this is going to be a long duel. Ah, uh, so what do we do, man? What do we do? Oh, uh, Joey, Joey, Joey. You know what? I'm going to set Crass Clown. And, yep. Hope you can use this effect. Because he's also got two face downs. But I want to use Crass Clown. Return something to his hand. And, yeah, need a wall. Man, don't be a three or a... What would the other world be? A one, okay. That's a miss. That's that's cool. Thank God. Uh, yeah, three or I think a four would have got us here. What is that? Tiger X? I think that's Tiger X. Uh, yeah, I don't think either one's uh, good enough to stop Crash Clown. So we'll just let him attack. Graceful dice. I activate my graceful dice, Flood. Ah, oh, crap. Well, he's definitely gonna kill Crash Clown then. Dang, that sucks. But, at the same time, at least we drew out one of his traps. I mean, one of his face downs. Because I was thinking about attacking Little Wingard after I powered up uh, uh, Battle Ox. But, yeah, that might have uh, screwed us, honestly. So, good call, good call. And, yeah, you might switch that to Defense Joy, but you've still got Tiger X... Which is just sitting there in attack mode, so you can bet I'm gonna attack that. Ooh, Crimson Ninja. Just kidding, I'm not gonna attack that. Because I'm gonna set Crimson Ninja. Ooh, but does he have red eyes? You know what? Damn. Um We are gonna go with Battle Ox. Because two monsters on board. I don't want him to summon red eyes. In case he has it, so yeah, sword of hatred onto battle ox. There we go, and yeah, we'll attack Tiger X. That's the plan. Uh, he didn't have trap holes, so don't be mirror force or something crazy. Okay, looks like Joey's just gonna let us kill this one. That's good, that's good. Doesn't have out two monsters. Battle Ox, looking good, looking good here. Oh man, every episode with every like fight with Joey is always it's always good, you know. It's just, it's a good it's good to run into Joey. So, all right, but yeah, I don't remember having if we had that dialogue last time or not. Okay, don't be a four. A four would really screw me. I think don't be a four. Oh my god, Joey, no. No, Battle Ox. I'm sorry. Oh. Needle wall. Oh, God. Well, I guess in a strange way. Ooh. <laughs> Metal Morph on Little Wingard. Okay, this is getting to be a problem. But I guess it's kind of a good thing. Time Wizard. Oh, my God. Dude, Joey. Oh, man. I really need Time Wizard to fail here, but it's not going to. He's going to get it. He, he got it. He got it. Yep, he got it. Oh, Joey. Pissing me off, man. Gosh. No, I'm not going to stop Time Wizard's attack. Although I might stop Little Wing Guards, honestly. Because that thing with Metal Morph, that is bad news. Bad news. Oh my god, dude. Jeez. You see what I mean? Like, I think I talked about this in the first episode we dueled Joey, but yeah, every time 
he you know goes for a time wizard he gets it man he dangerous machine too man can you stop can you stop being good joey oh my god yeah you can still change that to defense mode but you can't attack and that's the main key here okay you know what we'll go with whiptail crow jeez man and I'm gonna power it up you know it's my only monster on the field so gosh dude so if he destroys it you know so be it but I'm gonna get some some damage on that time wizard man gosh man Joey Okay, what time are we at? 45 minutes. Wow. Um, yeah, once again, I don't know if uh, the if I have enough memory on my phone to make it toward the end. But this one's actually looking like a pretty good duel. So, like, if the video cuts out, then I will... I guess I'll save state on the emulator. And we'll just continue this in the next episode. Holy crap. Need old dick. Need old dick. Need a wall. Don't be a three, man. Thank you. Okay. Uh, dangerous machine. Don't be a five. <laughs> like, holy crap, man. Oh, Joey. Please be a six. Just, just blow yourself up. A three. I forget what that does. One of us draws a card, right? He draws a card. Hacks. I call hacks. Dude. Oh, my. I'm gonna lose to Joey again. I just feel it, man. I feel it. We're gonna lose to Joey again. And he guessed it right, right? Yep, of course he did. Of course. <sighs> you know what? But well, we're only gonna take 500 from Time Wizard. Honestly, in this situation, that's best case scenario. We only took 500. It's not too bad. We still got 7,000. So, and he can't attack with Little Wing Guard, BS Power Up with Metal Morph. So, do not activate effect. That's actually kind of smart, I suppose. What do we got, man? I need some good. D Spell. Uh, I will take D Spell. And I will gladly use D Spell on Dangerous Machine. Because that needs to get out of here. Pronto. Bye bye, man. And the only monster we have is Crimson Ninjas, so gotta set it. Basically, this the only way I can make it out of these next few turns is if he starts failing. And he has to fail with everything: Needle Wall, Time Wizard, everything. He has to fail completely. Fail five. Fail. Okay, good. Now I just need him to not hit three times in a row with time wizard because that's bs and that would he's just gonna attack what oh interesting i i'm surprised he didn't use time wizard's effect there but but you know then again it would have been kind of stupid for him to use it especially if it had failed oh man this duel is insane. Alright, let's destroy Needle Wall. Stealth Slash! Thank God for Crimson Ninja. Alright. I'm actually fine with that. With I mean, I'll take 500 from Time Wizard. But, like I said, I'm I'm fine with that. Because I got Needle Wall out. And that that card's a nightmare. Uh, we still recording? Yeah, 49 minutes. Wow can't believe like I said I can't believe my cell phone can record this long that's that's insane dude uh, do not activate effect yeah that's smart I wouldn't either in this situation uh, great draw great draw we got crawling dragon okay so we'll summon crawling dragon uh, he's got three monsters out might as well equip it with sword of hatred because yeah, three monsters out, he could play something dangerous. Red Eyes. Well, not only that, but even Joey's basic monsters, they can stop 1600. So, hopefully attack Time Wizard successfully. Yes, okay, that's another huge life point loss. So that's, that's actually helping us. That we got Time Wizard out, 
and did huge damage at the same time. 6,500 is